was completely wrong. Oh my god. Like, what? I am so confused. What the heck, dude? There's like literally nothing it can be. Part not discovered. That's not that. ABS. I don't know why it would be the ABS module. Oh, maybe it is. No, it's not. Damn it. What is it? What is this? Sway bar? No, it's not the sway bar. There's like no other parts. I don't know. What else is broken? I don't understand. I literally don't understand. What else on this car can be broken? Like, what? What, dude? These aren't even bad, though. No, I, I see them. Okay, yeah, they're not even bad. Like, oil filter is fine. What is it? So, okay, am I stupid? Like, what am I missing? Is the rear end leaking diff fluid? That smells, but I feel like it's not... Wait, we can open the trunk. Wait, is there something in the trunk? No, there's nothing in the trunk. In the door. In the back seat. What is it I'm missing right now? I, I am so lost. Like, what? I, I literally am going to strip every single part from this car until I find it. Did he, like, stash something in the fenders? There's something, like, around the car? The headlights, do they work? Like, alright, I'm not seeing a whole lot here. Is there like something in the body? What do you stash do you stash drugs in it? Like, did he did he stash drugs behind the bumper? Or like behind the tail light? I'm so confused right now. What the heck is he talking about? Part not discovered. I'm so confused. Well, I'm just going to reinstall his bumpers and stuff because I don't think... He, I mean, maybe he is smuggling drugs, but I don't... What... Wait, 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 what, what, what? Okay. Alright. Okay. Let's refresh here. Alright, so we're walking up to the car. We're just working on our papers right here. I wonder what that actually says. Does it even say anything? So we're working over here and doing, you know, we got our palm sander, um, some, I don't even know what that says, can't read it, um, in, a, in some phones, uh, with some screwdrivers, and, uh, bent toilet paper, you know, all of our angling tools, oh, I think those are body pullers, oh, no, I don't think those are phones, I think those are like suction cups. Um, yeah, we got more palm sanders. Oh, there's our phone. Oh, what? 
Um, no, I can't really take on cars right now. I gotta figure this one out. All right, so we're walking up to the car. We're looking at it. We're like, oh, look, it's under the hood. Oh, a torn apart engine. All right, what's up with it? Oh, it smells like mushrooms. Um, and it pulls to the right and make it usable. All right. Well, is the engine block just like completely junk? Because that would be my next guess. Am I missing, what am I missing here? Like, all right, you know what? We're taking the motor out of the car. <laughs> We are taking the motor out of the car. We're, and we're, we're gonna see what happens here. We're, we're missing four parts, like that's crucial. Like, I don't even think there's four more parts on this car that I haven't touched. I mean, it did say the suspension was pulling to the right, but that can mean anything. Like, is the rear suspension tweaked? Like at all? Doesn't look. Looks fine. Rear suspension looks completely fine. I don't know. Oh wait. Oh, I thought this was like glowing red, like it was bad, but it doesn't look like it. So rear suspension's fine. Um, let's take this engine out. Maybe it's the block itself. It, it was not the block. What the heck, dude? Like... What? Uh, what, dude? What is it? I, I'm so, like, confused right now. Like, I, I'm... I'm... What? this these are like fine it wait a minute no could it be like wheel bearings or something like rear wheel bearings like that are like making noise and like smelling maybe I don't know I'm gonna just try everything now at this point the axle oh my god it was a fucking axle are you kidding me what does the axle have to do with anything how does an axle even go bad? Like, that just doesn't happen like that. Unless you, like, are going down the drag strip. Like, axles just don't go bad. Oh my god, it was the axle. Is it this housing, too? Okay, so that was two of the parts. But I'm still missing... Two. So, is it this, like, knuckle housing? No. What? Alright, so I'm still missing two part. Oh my god. Wait a second. You bastards. You dirty bastards. It was a bushings. You guys suck. What is this? Novice. You bastards. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my. God damn it. You freaking bastards, man. So now I need axles. Frickin' bro. So I need solid rear um, drive axles. 
and I need two. Man, that's annoying as heck. So I gotta assemble the whole engine <laughs> again? God damn it. I'm probably not even gonna get paid like a super amount of money for this and I just wasted all my time. That sucks. Oh well. Uh, I gotta put those U-bolts back on too. I can't forget those. Okay. Yes, put these back on. And then put the wheel on. I don't understand what the smelling of mushrooms had to do with anything here, but... That, that just threw me off completely because I don't think that had to do with anything. I don't know why axles going bad would smell like mushrooms or if that even was what it was. It was probably the brakes. It, 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 they were probably talking about the brakes. But now I gotta put the whole freaking engine back in. I, imagine, I had to take the whole engine out. If I was doing this at my actual job, I'd be fired in like two seconds. <laughs> oh, Boy, all right. Just put that all this. Literally, just put everything back in. Oh man, I'd be like, I'd be fired. They'd be like, dude, you took the whole engine out and it needed rear axles. Like you weren't even close. Oh man. Um. Come on. Over here. Thank you. One thing I don't understand is there's no motor mounts. Oh, I gotta put these stupid clips back on. Alright. Put this back on. I'll put everything I can put back on up top while I still can. Then I'll go underneath the car and put everything down there that I need to. I mean, this guy pretty much got free stuff. I, like, regasketed like, his entire engine for free, so he should be thankful. Uh, that's everything I can put on up here, correct? Yes, I can't do anything else because I have to put the crankshaft back in. Then i got to put the connecting rods and pistons back in from the top. So, yeah, pretty much just reinstalling everything. Oh, and i got to put the... Freaking transmission back on. Oh my god. Come on. <laughs> really? Really? Can't see. Zoom in. Thank you. Come on. Oh my god. Just thread the needle. I gotta do that from the engine bay. But while I'm down here, I'll put the oil filter on. Put the flywheel back on. Man, I'm a pro. I am a freaking pro, dude. I know how to work on cars. Almost like real life. Like, not even close. If I could throw a car together this fast, I would be like the, the best car builder in the world. In real life. Wow. I, I installed the transmission in, in less than 30 seconds. I mean, that that is that is something that you don't see every day. Or at all, actually. Not even every any day. Um, Alright, so enough fucking around. Let's install these. Let, let, let's get this car out of here. And I think I'm, I'm going to call it a video there once, once this car is gone. Because I need a break been a long play session today you know hardcore gaming you know how it is all right wow 
These pistons look terrible for 55%. They're just like black. It's, it's just carbon, like straight up. Cylinder head. I really hope I don't get a car. I, I hope I don't get a car like this like ever again. This is the most annoying thing. All right, gotta put these caps back on. I just want to get this car out of here. I, I feel like I'm at work right now. Like when I get stuck in a car for hours and hours without end, like I'm just like sick of it because I'm just working on it forever, and you know I get paid by like flat rate so it's like if i don't get that car out of there like i'm just losing money and it's just like annoying because like one like i've had cars where like one thing i fix one thing and then something else breaks but it like doesn't help because it takes so long for me to fix because it just keeps breaking like brake lines like i find like i remember i worked on a jeep at my job and it just kept like I fixed one brake line and then another brake line blew and then I fixed that one and it just did it like all day long and then all of a sudden like two calipers seized and then the guy's like oh can you put pads on it for me and I'm just like dude like you couldn't have told me before and then I finally I put pads on it and then the other caliper like seizes it's just like an absolute it was an absolute mess I made like no money that week thanks to that guy but that's okay um that's all right. Live and learn. Just don't work on Jeeps ever again. So I try to avoid them as much as possible. And uh, let everybody else in the shop. Everybody else in the shop never has a problem with Jeeps. I just do. Every single Jeep I've ever owned, every single Jeep I've ever driven, has always had a problem. Never just worked at all. It's, it's always just something stupid. 2016 Jeep Grand Cherokee came in with a bad transmission mount that was shaking the engine about... And I'm not even exaggerating, probably eight inches back and forth, which was just insane. So, um, I have to install the idler pulley. And then I should be good to install the belts, and I think that'll be all set. Just one more belt. Alright, I think we're Gucci. Oh, what? There's two parts not discovered? Alright, it's gotta be something with the front here. Is it the, is it like the front hub or something? Front wheel bearings? What am I missing? What? front wheel bearing fine is the front wheel bearings fine is it my front hub no oh my god like this is getting obnoxious it's got to be more like suspension bushing somewhere it's got to be like i'm gonna all right i'm gonna look around for like more bushings because it's got to be like a bushing or something that i like can't see that's just being really like incognito. Yeah, it's gotta be something stupid like that. Um, oh, I need to put the bearing back in. I don't know what this bearing's doing because it doesn't like have an axle, but hey, whatever floats your boat, man. All right, we're looking for more bushings. Any any more bushings that you want to uh, let me know about back here? You know, like in the shock absorber. Um, spring cap. What is that? A spring cap, a rear spring. What's this? Um, okay. Um, um, any, any more, any more bushing? I mean, I don't, all right, let's, um, is it the cap? No, no, it's not. Okay, well, that was an utter waste of time. Oh, 
wait a minute. Was that a good cap? No, I want that back. No, no, no. You're going to get the crappy one because that, that's, a, that's a good quality cap that I just gave you. And I got to end this episode because I, I don't feel like dealing with this guy's crap. Here, you can have the crappy thing. Is it like you joints? What is it? I'm so like angry. It, it says I didn't discover it. What didn't I discover? Is it the fuel tank? Like what? What else is there? There's like nothing left on the car I can physically touch. The spring? What is there like? So this front spring shock absorber cap? It's not that though. Like tie sway end link like that doesn't look bad the sway bar itself uh all right sure why can't i take that off because the wheels in my way really i mean the sway bar doesn't look terrible all right we, we gotta I, I want to figure this out before I before I end this video like this is annoying um no not shock absorber sway bar and link all right 55 percent I'm gonna say it's a sway bar it's gotta be it's gotta be the sway bar all right because this all looks fine this doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it Sway bar. All right. oh, I gotta remove it from under the car. Alright. Fair enough. Oh, I didn't even reassemble the bottom half of the car. Alright. It's not the sway bar. Alright, I quit. Oh, what the hell. Alright. On that note... I'm just going to forget this and call it a day. Save game, return to main menu. Thank you everyone for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed our the videos because I recorded this in a session. I'll probably upload them in 20 minute to half an hour segments. So I really hope everyone enjoyed. Peace out. I will catch you guys next time. And maybe I'll be working on some real cars next time. Let me know if you'd like me to continue Car Mechanic Simulator because I would actually very much like to continue Car Mechanic Simulator. And also play other car games and or simulator games. So let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace out.